All right, here we go, boys. All right. Don't. Do <laughs> this one's 30. The mic is almost 10. This is are 30. Are you kidding me? All right, so what are we? What are we? So Fallout 76. Yes. Rage 2. Rage 2. This Hopefully a Skyrim announcement. Dishonored 3. No. Dishonored 2 DLC, man. We don't need a third game. Prey 2. Yeah. Prey 2. Oh, Elder Scroll Online stuff. New IP, maybe? New IP? New IP? Ooh. More card games. I would love a new IP. Or Bethesda. I mean, God forbid. Oh they make God. one. Here we go. All right. Let's Welcome to the stream, boys. Let's get it. This feels like the, the start of a this uh, is 30 seconds of Mars. So. Oh, thank God. I was worried. Oh, Lord. Oh, I thought we got. I thought we were going to Square Enix. I'm excited. Better, better update the title here. I am excited for this. Okay, intriguing so far. We come from different backgrounds. From different countries. We have different interests. And different points of view. Ah, Doom. Ah, Doom 2! <laughs> That's what's coming, yeah! <laughs> we aren't all developers. But it Look takes at that. all of us. Every one of us. To make these games. A job we take. Very seriously. It's funny because that's actually how you do that stuff. Really? Yeah, people just, for, for Foley sound, they sit in a room, they just we play with shit to make sounds. Yep. And fix things that are broken. You got a good budget, you got a Foley Center, but hey. Yeah, you know, we had a Foley Studio place I interned with. Cool. Oh. I mean, it was, it was, this is a very interesting story. That one guy looked like DJ Cali if he was a gamer. And on the edge of their seats. We keep the books balanced. Why do they have to be on the edge of their seats? The game's in their hands. Does they don't have to lean in for anything. With our community. Is that the one girl who was hosting the show? I think. Most of okay. All, we work together as old friends and uh, Ruby cosplay. What unites us is our passion. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nerf Gun's games. cool, yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're doing mocap with the Nerf Gun. Games is That's what a lot of people, the people who make them. Yeah, it's Ejacali. We play them. Wow. We're not just living the dream. We're That's good creating. One. That guy's my spirit animal. Good shot. We are all. DJ Kelly! Bethesda Softworks, how may I direct your call? Mm hmm. You can start the show. Alright, interesting. Not the worst thing in the world I've seen, but hey. There's plenty of show left. What are all these games you're gonna show us? I'm gonna have to get this yeah, pizza before they reveal something. Here. Yeah, I know, right? Ugh. Might not be done. Might have let it in for a little bit longer because it was we just we just came right back from being in the freezer aisle. I say this all looks like uh, older stuff. Yeah, there it is. They're not gonna show me the new stuff, probably. They, they're only gonna reveal footage in this that they've already shown. Yeah. Oh, can we get another like Wolfenstein or like a DLC maybe for that? Uh, they already announced DLC for it, like the season pass, but it might be another one. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. We're, no, but that's what I'm saying. We're gonna probably see whatever the next DLC coming out for that is. Ah, true. Even if it's announced, they're gonna probably show the gameplay. Give me the man we all want. Give us Todd. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm Todd Howard! Come on, baby. Todd Howard is basically a rock star. Todd Howard, <laughs> Todd Howard is the counterpart to Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer yeah. is like the professional man who loves them three. Todd Howard is the guy who's like, I want to throw baseballs at the wall and see what happens! Alright, let's see what he's wearing. What's his shirt say? Oh, oh wow! <laughs> okay. Wow! Oh. So, not exactly, uh... My man. Too oh cool. no, there's a band. Oh, thank you guys very much. Live music Sound is good? never good. Has there been one E3 you press conference where there was like you live orchestra or live music? You were like, yeah, man. I'm a little nervous As already. As Paula said, my name is Pete Hines, and I'm delighted to be back on stage for Bethesda's fourth annual E3 showcase. Now, we've got all kinds of surprises in store for you Ooh, tonight. Yeah. So whether you're here with us. In the audience, or you're one I like of how it's it's sad that like the people like us in the industry who so like really deep in the watching this stuff know like Pete Himes is like the game. Bethesda guy, but everyone who's like just kind of like a more casual or, or a hardcore gamer but doesn't follow stuff our would totally be like, yeah, Tom ha Todd Howard, he's the guy who runs yeah, Bethesda. Yeah, right. <laughs> By our ten studios spread around. It's just him. I assume Todd Howard. <laughs> no one else. He just does it all. He does all the foley and all the voice acting. I assumed Bethesda was purely Todd Howard. Like there's he's there's one guy in the company. Just a bunch of clones. Yeah. That brings our games to life, and that. That's why they made the video. They need to tell everyone it wasn't because just Todd Howard. We create the worlds, but you create your own adventures, stories, and experiences, 
and it's your passion for games that drives us every day to strive for excellence. <laughs> Is on L, come on. The past year's I don't know. exciting one for Bethesda has re released some of the best. To me, to me, I didn't hear anything. To me, it seemed like he said that. He's like, pray. This is fucking the stupid. Yeah, That's what it seemed like to me. The Evil Within 2. Guys, you're watching long rides. What you tell us? Wolf what you think as things get revealed? Less than we speculate, you're going to see. We even released exciting updates for The Elder Scrolls Online. We brought. Oh, I got big cheer. Yeah, I didn't know it was a big deal. Yeah. With Fallout 4 and Skyrim plus Doom VF Fallout. Skyrim, that's one. We <laughs> hey, we got one, boys. First two games for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I gotta go check on it. See how it is. Yeah, go check the pizza. So we were thrilled when Metacritic named us the top guys, publisher in the industry with the highest. Yeah, overall. this is probably gonna go off for a bit, so don't worry about it. You probably got time. Across all of our games. <laughs> but. Tonight is about the future. We're here to show you where we're he headed and the games that we're creating. I would really like to see a new IP. Yeah, it'd be nice. The worlds that you'll be inhabiting in the next year and beyond. So, we're starting with a game that we announced a few weeks ago oh, okay. through our friends at Walmart, Walmart Canada. Yeah. It, it might need extra like five or so. Cause it, this game they already announced. I think it's Rage or Fallout. Like it's probably Rage. Perhaps best known for their low prices and ability to keep a secret. So let's get things started with a look at Rage 2. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because if it was Fallout, Todd Howard would be out on the yeah. stage. True. You know, the guy that runs Bethesda. Basically. Todd Howard. Okay, let's see what this is all about, man. Is that the Avengers logo? <laughs> I give Rage 2 two minutes to impress me. Oh, oh boy. No. We are off to a rough start. That? Yep, it, it is. Be. Yep. Right. Yep. What? They're what pivoting. They're going full in. Chase is here for Skyrim too. Andrew WK, where'd they dig him up from? I mean, it probably wasn't was he picking hard. up scraps behind Bethesda happening? Studios? Wait, what is this? This is Rage. Is this a band? Yes. Is it? You've never seen? Yeah, Andrew WK. He's a he's a musician. He did that really awful live action cartoon show about kids building what's, stuff what's and breaking band? them. What's his band called? Oh yeah, Destroy Build Destroy. I like that show. Oh wait, that show that. was yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. That show is dope. <laughs> I forgot he was the host of it. Wait, so this is wait. A, this is a Rage Against the Machine. Wait. This isn't Rage Against the Machine. And of course, he's doing a live rendition of the one song everybody knows him from. I mean, of course. Well, why? Why would you not? That's what they paid him for. Am I high? What is happening? I don't know. This is a good time to get pizza, definitely. Chase is here for Skyrim 2. It won't be Skyrim 2. It's gonna be the Elder Scrolls, whatever. I am shocked. Wow. Are you really, though? I I'm kind of shocked this coming from Bethesda, though. This is kind of shit that Ubisoft pulls, you know? <laughs> Look at that guy! That guy in the crowd, did you see him? He's just like, where am I? You know for oh. a fact, they're like, guys, Rage 2. Look at that There's one guy into it. That one woman's like, what the fuck is going on? Everyone's like, the CEO's like, Rage 2 sucks. We gotta get a band to do something. We need something to do. We need something flashy and distractive. Guys, 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 we, we, we didn't get to tell you. We don't actually have any Rage 2 ready. Like, none of it. No, 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 wait. No, wait. The back. no this is it. This is it. If this is gonna be so off putting, then when they show the game, they're like, yeah, the game looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, like, oh, I agree. That's solid. Comparison. That's yeah. actually, like, that's smart. That's, uh, uh, maybe a little too smart for Bethesda, <laughs> but. Bethesda's really smart. What do you mean? Uh, Skyrim on mobile. This is coming the, out. I was gonna play the whole song, huh? Yeah. How's that? That's smart. Why would you not port it if you could? Skyrim's one of the best-selling games of all time. Uh, it's not. It's not what you want. That doesn't make it dumb. Are they playing this whole song? That's what they told themselves in the mini -freeze. Like, who walked in there and said, "Guys, we need a band for Rage." Uh, Rage Against the Machine. Shut up. What? Andrew WK. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I mean, weird. every single one of his songs is like this. So Look at that guy! He's got his own music playing. Oh, this is pretty cringy. Yeah. I want him to be the I want him to be the presenter. For that Rage one girl well. was really into it there. Like, I want him to be the guy that talks about Rage too. Like, also by the way, we've been doubling this for like three years. This, this uh, is the theme. yeah, we know it's I the Braden, Braden, Braden. We know it's the theme song. We're just mad that they made us listen to it. <laughs> we all know it was in the trailer. We've seen the trailer. They showed it again when we were waiting. 
These people in the audience probably had to watch that trailer too. So now they heard it twice. <laughs> All right, and the crowd goes mild. There we go. Hey, I'm giving it like a minute. There we go. Yeah, it's like do it like minutes. Huh? I'm pumped. You're just gonna miss rage gameplay. You really care about that? <laughs> I mean, not they, even. They're coming they, on stage. Oh. Let's give it up again. Man, that guy's tall. Wow, well, yeah. I was he, sure. he, <laughs> that one guy is either really tall or the other guy is really short. Yeah, I could have, wow. I, that's need to, I need to see their. I need to see their full uh, profiles. Not Hi, short. My name is yeah. Tim the one guy is tall, but not really tall. At id Software. And I like the microphone I'm, my name there. Is Mia Forge, game director at Avalanche Studios. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Avalanche. And we're right. here to say that Rage. Brady is thinks this is fun. I hope they say Rage is back. <laughs> Now we like had a ton for the was apparently. Crazy ideas. Was he really? What do you say? Uh, he likes rage. Andrea Renee is having a nice time. I'm sure Andrea's having a great time. We haven't watched any fun house are kind of funny. I'm sure she is. I felt I was telling her before we went live with this how I felt bad for Andrea because how EA just screwed her with that script. Avalanche Studios games, and as we're about to show you, they delivered big time. Do they though? We'll see. Do anyone here remember Rage One? I think a lot of people think this is a new IP. They think it's like Ocean's Eleven. They're like, oh yeah, they just skipped the two. You know. Well, thank you, Tim. <laughs> kiss, kiss, what? kiss. <laughs> What's happening? Teleprom is broken. Teleprom is broken. Yeah. yeah. Teleprom is broken. What is going on? <laughs> the teleprom is broken. They don't know how to add him. Oh my God. Well, speaking for everyone at Avalanche Studios. This is really a dream to come true for us. The world of See, I can't tell if he's riffing or if the Trump is back. Yeah, I think it's back. But even more exciting than that wow. has been to work with I'm sure guys Brett's happy he didn't have to see that. Yeah. These guys invented the first person shooter. That's true, it did. You're right. Yeah, that's true. Respect. I don't think it's in software. Respect it's software. It's software. And it's Brayden loved Rage. He used stuff. the word loved. It was his first PC game in the row. Brayden, get out of here! <laughs> great collaboration I respect that. I respect Brayden's opinion. <laughs> you were talking so much shit on Rage all week. You're like, yeah, I respect it. Get out of here. Rage 2 transports players into a dystopian future, devoid of society, law. That's just to make a Mad Max game. Now you play as Walker, the last ranger of the wasteland. Interesting. Now, you know, I can talk all night. About our guns. So I literally know nothing about rage. No, neither do I. Brayden, okay. give us a summary of, of rage. Brayden, what's a ranger? Crazy, Tell us. Uh, open world. But I know that you are here to see the game. No, we're here for the well, other game. Only Hold on, I'm going to give rage the opportunity. Brett, you missed it. There was technical difficulties, and instead of riffing, they just stood there awkwardly looking at each other again. Yeah. The teleprompter went off. Look oh. and, oh. Instead of riffing like professionals, they just stood there like, yeah, yeah. Just put it, put it on the table over there. Right now. Just put it on the, put it on oh, the table. Yeah. yeah, yeah, be easier that way. Okay. Easier, cleaner. All right, Rage 2 gameplay. I'm getting up. I have no opinions. We Everyone knows my opinion. I'll watch it. Yeah, go ahead. I'll give you a slice. Don't worry. Extinction event. Little percent of the Earth's population. Oh, Joy, I didn't know, know, know where that was. God yeah. turned his back on humanity long ago. I didn't cut with the boundaries in mind. It yes. wasn't a war. That's that, that's that. War. It wasn't global There's one pepperoni war. on that coin slice. It was a fucking asteroid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born in this shithole. Like, I was born Parents murdered <laughs> and orphaned of this wasteland. Yeah, I saw them. Oh, the okay. army of mutants killed everyone I ever loved. Jack, you want pepperoni, right? Yeah, it's, it's looking interesting so far. It's not that it's gonna be like Fear. a terrible game. It's just not what we want. Like it's like it's like oh, this is this is like filler, and you're starting out with a filler. I like, might be sold on it. We'll see what they pull out here. You're not gonna. You don't have money to buy games. Especially not games you don't really want. And now. I'm the last yeah, it's to game pass Can I have two slices to your mic? Right, I'm working on it. Just give the tower roll in case accidents happen. Hello, E3, and welcome to the world of Rage 2. In a moment, we'll this dive like head first into the Eden Spaceport mission, where Walker, our main protagonist, is out to find a rare artifact that will aid him in his oh, quest. Don't just slurp like that. <laughs> Brad, what are you doing? <laughs> Jack knows about the shit on the viewers. Rage takes place in the world Whoops. where... No, we know we know that. We just want to know what a ranger is. The rangers are like the rangers in... All right, we have people. Fault in Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Doctor, I'm approaching the Eden Space Center. Ah, yes, I for 
got to say. It might be overrun by bandits. The goon squad, to be precise. You must likely slay them first before pulling down the eco pod from orbit and securing the untainted. See, this looks beautiful, but this also isn't gameplay. They said it's uh, pre captured, so. Mm -hmm. But I, mean, I think it's, it's uh, alpha, they said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's rendered in, in engine, but this isn't gonna, what it's going to look like when you play it. It's not going to, like, you're not going to be doing it that way. Chase Baron, like, first rage a lot, too. How do we even, how do we even have rage? Uh, hey, you're, you're the one who has to go back to that house, not me. Seamless uh, open world. Yeah, All right. Center. Keep your wits about you, Walker. The goon squad may look whimsical, laughable even. Believe me, behind their playful appearance, they are very, very dangerous. Okay, so... I have a legitimate question to ask you guys. We're in 2018 now, right? Oh, yeah. Is, a is, is, a, is an open world game being a quote-unquote seamless open world, is that actually, like, something to brag about? Because GTA V came out, like, years ago now, and that's a seamless open world. So, like, I think anything coming out after GTA V, like, if it's open world, it better damn be seamless. Like, I don't think it's a bragging point anymore. I think that's just the bar, you know? I think that's kind of fair. I think it would depend. I mean, it's a fair point to make, but basically all you can do now is is keep raising the bar by making it, I guess, more seamless. Like, make, I mean, make, Fallout make Four. Times, like, I mean, like, I mean, load load times for GTA Five were still kind of a problem. What the hell is this? Like, for cutscenes, but like you just go anywhere and do the thing. Motion sensor activated. No, I'm talking about switching. Is everyone just ignoring this right here? It, he's watching a trailer on TV. Uh, okay. Um. But like yeah, like think about it's uh it didn't it wasn't nearly as seamless when it came to doing like multiplayer crap. It's like first you have to load into single player, and then you have to like, select multiplayer, then you gotta get out of single player and load back into multiplayer. But that's not that's not the open world. Oh, I think it's fine to say like it's it's I don't expect every game to do sure, that. Sure, I was I was so, just curious. That's just my opinion. I think it's fine. Like it's 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 all about the flow. Okay, that was weird. Okay, the third one's fine. Brain say it will look the way it looked in the car. Yeah, fair enough. The car, the car scenes seem way too seamless. This, this looks correct. I think the enemy character models won't be as nice unless you're running, running like PC max setting. But um, the car, the car sequence is way too seamless. Well, I'll say I, I, en I enjoyed Doom, and this is looking like Doom, so which I'm kind of okay with. Hmm. So it just isn't doing. I, I, it's a very interesting. It goes back to our argument for the podcast. Like, oh. Borderlands is coming out this year. This will do for a year. Like that's that's what's where it's we're at. Definitely, I, I think just the way they're they're cutting the trailer is messing up a little bit. Yeah. Because they're saying it's like a level, but it isn't really like a level because they're cutting. It doesn't it. feel like it. Yeah. So it's kind of. It's not that we're not like we're not shitting on this game saying it's bad. We're shitting on this game because it's just like why are, why 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 this and why you haven't given us a reason on why we have why did we, this is the time we make rage to. Like, it seems as like you're just doing it to do it. Yeah. Eh. This looks it's been cool. long enough. This looks pretty cool so far. It's been long enough. There's the, the, the universe seems interesting enough. The no no no. It's, it has nothing to do with time. It's like you need a that that's a stupid reason. Just be like oh it's long enough. Let's make another game. It's like that's super easy. You have a reason why. Like what what why what do, what does making this game do that, that expands upon the gameplay you you would be doing differently in, in the last game or other games you're making. You know. I think I think the bigger like thing Major is just people Walker's were get it uh, yeah it wasn't like Rage One was this big critical thing you know so but it has like that cool aesthetic which is nice. It's like the that shot when he exited before he yeah, turned left that was that was oh. not gameplay that was running. and then we turned left it dissolved in the gameplay because the the drop distance on the background was way different than when he turned back. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a vibe of what is occurring. Oh. Ooh, I like that. I don't know, I'm, I'm just mixed at the yeah. moment. I'm mixed. It's just a meme. Like, I'm just sitting on it because it's a meme. It's probably fine. At the end of the day, it's a Bethesda game, so it can't be bad. That's very fair, too, yeah. I think it's just like we go to Bethesda to really do something new that's gonna be like, or do something really innovative. It's gonna pull us in. And this, also, like, if, if we're being honest, Rage in general feels like the least Bethesda Bethesda game. 
Like, it just, it feels so generic, you know? It, uh, it, and it's interesting. I, I'm, I mean, Doom I mean, isn't the most, in, in, you know, incredible Christian game either. But it's really stylized. Yeah. It gets back from, like, this, this doesn't even feel yeah. super stylized. It feels tropey. How's it going oh, remember that? It's that game you said you didn't think anyone played. Community manager for Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah. <laughs> well, people play. Look, they have a community manager. See, people play the game. Well, my buddy started playing. I still play. The best digital card game. Oh, this is and this is a card game. Better. Yeah. New oh, wow. Cards, oh, new modes, I thought it was online. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was online. No, 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 no. There's Elder Scrolls online. Oh, there's Elder Scrolls. This is a card game. Sorry, sorry. Thrilled to announce that we will soon be relaunching the Elder Scrolls Legends with brand new, totally overhauled visuals. I'm also very excited to let you all know that Legends will be available later this year on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, we did and it. PlayStation 4. We did it! We got a Nintendo Switch game here before the before Nintendo press conference. We did it. Switch drop, baby. But there's no reason to wait to play the game that Apple... That's actually the one thing I'm really excited about because we have to wait. We have to literally wait till Tuesday for Switch stuff and I have to go to work, which means I can't do any VOD stuff. I have to just PC, like watch it at work or, or like read about it at work. Uh, so like I'm, game, I'm looking to these conferences to tell me about all the stuff coming to Switch. Through your Bethesda Net account. Interesting so far. Mm -hmm. I like that we finally got to the place Let's at E3 where people are okay not clapping at things. I'm happy about that. This isn't just my favorite card game, but will soon be yours as well. <laughs> oh, I bet. Wait, I bet. is Wizard of the Coast running it? Start small. Where's my Planeswalker? One game is all it takes. Oh my god. But legends never stay simple. Never stay small. This is action. This is story. This is competition. This is easy to pick up. Right, it's like card games on Switch. <laughs> for sure, I'm down for card games on Switch. What's Hearthstone coming to Switch? My question. That's an easy port. Okay. This is for any there's. You know what? Here, they're making some choices. They're not all great. I do like the editing pacing on this. The editing's pretty sweet. This is for those who want magic at their fingertips. Like they're they're doing a lot with a little here, and I, I can appreciate that. This is a game where legends are like, born. Like, like it's a, it's a mobile, it's a, it's a digital card game. Like, how else are you marketing it? You know? Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's. I think, I think that was pretty good. That was, I mean, I guess. It's a, it's a, it's a mobile card game, and the card game's already out too. Like, this isn't yeah, like they're, a they're, re, they're rehauling it. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's was Elder fine. Scrolls. So I guess I can, like, I, I guess that's fine for the aesthetic. Here, here it is. Here's, here's online. Yeah. It just looks so muggy. Like the layout just looks Thank so you. muggy for that game. Sure. Oh no no, I thought you were digging. No, I'm talking trailer. about no, I was talking about the actual in-game game, game like the actual in-game uh, footage. I think it's just because of it was they were shooting it like on screen, quote unquote. Even though uh, it was before I get started in, so. tonight, I just no, I was talking. No, uh, no, uh, no, I was talking about the really actual like aesthetic and background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think it looked less clean. I'm saying because they were like layering it into like devices that it wasn't actually playing off of. That's fine. It's fine. So standing here on stage, I'm representing a whole lot of amazing people at ZeniMax Online Studios that I go to work I with wonder, every day. It's I wonder if there's any incentive for Bethesda to make like a new so, Elder Scrolls. They have Elder Scrolls Online. I go online. to work with them every day, like, but at night, it's not the same I thing. Home, I know, but like, why build like why build this whole new area for an Elder Scrolls game? Is it's Elder Scrolls Online, online gaming, subscription, or is it free to play with? Gaming. I think it's free on Xbox. I know that. Yeah. So Ooh. yeah. So the incentive is. We, we You're are only going to attract of what the only people that are going to pay games, like are going to be certain uh, people, you know, whereas like and, everyone and pays for the core game, and, 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 and that and that attracts a whole That's range true. of people. Um, you know, so you might not know it, but we're right there alongside. I'm playing there with you. I'm running dungeons. I'm exploring Tamriel, questing, crafting. Also, like the exploring, like PVPing. Indicative of MMOs, I would assume yeah, it's the same thing in this one. Is that like. You can't really explore and the same way you can really in a normal really RPG, yeah. because it's so much more level and gear locked than like just playing it. Like, like yes, there's the same thing in like RPGs on consoles, but I would I would argue it's a lot easier, especially in Skyrim. Like, I it's a lot easier to go out and explore whatever the hell you want, no matter where you are in the game. game as opposed I guess to, like, for me, is is the Fallout audience the same as the Skyrim audience? So I feel like there's definitely a huge crossover. A whole lot of ways. We were named MMO of the Year. MMO of the Year. There you go. What's, what's our competition? World of, World of Warcraft. Yeah. <laughs> World of Warcraft has to release a new exclusive. The Warframe. 12 Warframe. time champion. Warframe. That's a game I still haven't touched. <laughs> I've been Warframe for like a day. Week, really, really <laughs> like a day, wow. The latest chapter in the Elder Scrolls Online. Okay. Did it. Elder Scrolls. It, it's been, Terrible audience member all over your phone. Received with great critical acclaim. Everyone loves it. You get to travel to the island home of the High Elves for I'm the first time in 20 updates. years. I'm just checking message updates. It's about great this. for new players. If in the Tell me to watch the stream and hear you here. Yeah, there you go. You hear your live reactions. You're giving it out for free, Link. Why don't you for free? So fans are already there. 
But we're not done there. Uh, we make we make DLC every quarter for uh, for and and chapters. You know, That's nice. See, content comes out being so like there will be new content so every fine. quarter. We're great. already working on our great wow. plans for next year. But before that, the next DLC coming out is a dungeon DLC named Wolf Hunter, based on werewolves. Well, I got you. <laughs> And later this year, we have a story DLC named With vampires. Blackmire. We're going back to Black Marsh. So you guys have all been asking for a deeper dive into Argonian lore and culture. Wow. You're going to see it later this year. That's what I'm saying. Why well, put all this, you're putting all this in. And it looks like they're putting plenty of time and effort. That's what I'm it, saying. Like, so why would you make so a new Elder Scrolls game if you're making that? I don't. I don't think the audience is the same. I think the hardcore Skyrim, like the hardcore, like the people who were playing really, the really Elder Scrolls before Skyrim. Are, are not, not the, the same people as the, the majority of people who played Skyrim and would want another it's Skyrim. That's, that you that's just my argument, you, you know? This great like, there's there's a certain amount of time so commitment, more commitment. Like, like video playing that game is like a game you have to keep playing religiously. Like, it's such a time... It's not for someone who plays a game and then moves on to another game. Dude, I don't know if you can make Skyrim again, though. I don't think you can either, necessarily. But I'm saying that it shouldn't stop you from doing it. You should always aim to, to beat yourself, you know? You can't just say, okay, we did it, we can't get any better. Like, no, like, always try. It's better to try and fail than to not try at all and be complicit. Complacent. Oh boy. Those look pretty cool though, I might check this out. This, version, this is definitely not even like, even our PCs would probably have trouble, a little trouble chugging this. I, want, I wonder, I think it is all, I think it is all free. Yeah, it's probably free with a premium tier and uh, microtransactions. Or, or it's like World of Warcraft where it's free up to level whatever. I wonder though, do you, I, I, I have to look more into this, I wonder if like, all those things I just mentioned, like all those story things are still there to like do, or like they're gone now? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, it might, it might be like World of Warcraft rules, where they're just kind of like a thing that exists for a certain amount of time. In that case, like, you just be able to change servers, you have Rolex, you have Rolex servers. Yeah, there, there are Rolex servers that exist. This is certainly interesting. I mean, it's Bethesda, yeah, Bethesda. like, you, it's quality. Like, notice, like, notice there was a reaction between this and Rage 2. It's like, Rage 2, we know what it is, and we're shitting on it. Like, quote-unquote, shitting on it. And this, we, we don't know what it is, and we're not even, like, super into it. Like, it's not even what we want, but we're saying it's good. And that, that's, that's the difference of what I was trying to make with the Rage 2 thing. It's like, uh, Rage 2 just feels out of place. But we're watching this, even though we don't really care about it, we're like, no, this is Bethesda, this is what they do. We're like, we're looking at Rage 2, and we're like, what? Where is Todd Howard? What is, what is this? What was that? I don't know. Something's happened. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Doom. Doom. Ooh. Maybe. Doom. And in the, here's another thing. If Doom's coming out this year, right? Why would you want Rage 2? This looks like Doom. It's gotta be Doom. Oh, yes! <laughs> Doom 2? Doom, it, baby. It's gonna be 2019. If it comes out this year, then it's like, why are you even releasing Rage? Because Rage is this year, right? Shout out to Brayden playing Doom Multiplayer again. Multiplayer was super sweet. Oh, uh, that's all me and Brayden played. It was very much reminding me of traditional Halo Multiplayer. In a good way. Is this Doom 2? It must be. It's gotta be. No, it's not. Look at, all, look at all the art. Look at all the art styles. It, mostly the background is what did it for me. Before, I saw the giant worms and the brain. brain yeah, piece. The walking brain monster. That was... That oh, was yeah! Cool. Yeah, it was like, oh, literally Earth is hell. So it must be Doom. Yes! It could just be a massive multiplayer update too, but or DLC update, but oh, no, that's no. two. Nope, two. Yep, that's two. That's two. Oh. And Armageddon. Eternal. Eternal. <laughs> Halo Infinite. 
Doom Eternal. Eternal. We're getting around the numbers. <laughs> oh, Rage of Spring 2019. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if they released this within, like, six months, within, uh, less than six months of each other, it was like, what? <laughs> and I'm Hugo Martin, creative director on Doom Eternal. <laughs> he, he was like, I do the thing, too. <laughs> In 2016, we launched our reboot of Doom. And wow, is it that old? Away by your support wow. And excitement for remember, I remember our Rooster Teeth did a live Doom event. Thank you. Thing that was not In fact, great. it's a combination oh, of your passion and our team's love of making Doom that has motivated us to deliver even more. So we're back to announce Doom Eternal. So wait, what is it? Let's talk! Online TCG. <laughs> right? Online. Awesome, right? Awesome new sequel to Doom. Sequel. Cool. For the past two years, it's been so inspiring to hear you guys talk about what you'd like to see next. And I gotta tell you, we're right there with you. Like, you want the Doom Slayer to feel even more powerful? <laughs> well, we got it. <laughs> cool. You want even more badass demons? <laughs> well, there are twice as many in this game. <laughs> this feels like the reverse of the Black you Ops Black Ops Four thing. Yeah. Jump, jump, jumps. Well, no. We just <laughs> Lawrence, <laughs> no. Demons, yes. But what we're most excited about is to show you some of the things that you might not be expecting. Oh, apparently Rage is going to be right. spring yeah, of 2019. Yeah, yeah, I read it okay. yeah. We'll yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying this needs to come out more, six months or more after. Whatever it is. At QuakeCon this <laughs> August. <laughs> We'd love for you to join us live in Dallas, or of course you can tune in online to catch all the fun. But until then, we want to thank everyone who Wait, continues Dallas, to what? play Doom. We're QuakeCon. Thanks, oh, okay. everyone. Thank you. Cool. What is quick time? July? Yeah, yeah, he's in July. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Here we go. Quick! Oh, he is quick. Okay. How does everybody feel? There's a logo, what do you mean? I thought it was quick time. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's what I thought too. Hype or like crazy hype right now, right? Well, they showed the quick logo a lot in the, in the preview thing, so I, I kind of figured. Hi, I'm Joshua Boyle, community manager for Quake Champions. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Ever since the first Quake title was released in 1996, our games have been shaped by you, the players. Now that Brady is not freaking out for Quake. I feel like, I feel like Bethesda changes, is definitely the Braden, the Braden conference. Like this, is, this is the one that he really cares about, is everything here. I agree, yeah. Most this is, fun this is stuff. Just based on my, my known period. taste of Braden. <laughs> He's like, Microsoft, get him out of here. <laughs> Sony, <laughs> overrated. <laughs> Nintendo, <laughs> Child's play, but there's no real shit. A lot of talk about esports, but Quake has been there from the very beginning. In fact, we started hosting competitions at QuakeCon over 20 years ago. Oh wow, jeez. Wow, that is a long time. Let's hear for QuakeCon. Yeah. Let's hear for QuakeCon. Let's hear for QuakeCon. We'll expand. Let's hear for the imaginary thing. The no feelings. With everything from intense grassroots competitions to major tournaments at QuakeCon and DreamHack Winter. Oh man, jeez, jeez! I hate. If, if the cl if the clock doesn't come, you stop We're talking. Pretty to say how he gets excited for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Every, he's believing everything I said more about him than ever before. He does love. You're right. You do love Nintendo. Nice I was specifically just making a joke. Here, but yeah, I gotta tell you guys, we Please. can't stop, uh, won't stop later, until we've delivered a game that's fun for everyone, whether you're a Quake dad or a brand new baby to the arena. Quake dad. That's why we just <laughs> he, he laughed. He's like, that was supposed to be to a joke. Yeah. <laughs> for you and your friends to jump in and get good together. Get good. <laughs> he told he told his whole audience to get good. We're still in early access, but tonight we want to welcome all of you into the arena. Oh. Are okay. we doing it now? There we go. For this week only. We're opening up Quake Champions to everyone. Oh, Tuesday night stream. Stream there it is. I'm streaming it before right. it even launches. Here we go. You gonna join me, Jack? Yeah, I'll bond you. I'll be there. Plus, if you get in and download this week, you can stay and keep playing Quake Champions for free even after the trial closes. Oh, so what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> so. So head to Quake.com. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just like all of my Quake family tonight. 
<laughs> it was a really weird way of wording, hey, come get Quake for free. Really Don't roundabout way of saying it. Join one of the most passionate and That's great. Awesome. In mm -hmm. Brandon's going, yes. I'm, I'm just imagining Brandon is M. Bison going, tonight. yes! After yes! Check out our new trailer for Quake Champions. There we go. Dude, I love the Quake trailers. The, the Quake Champion trailers are so sweet. Oh my god, is this dude multiplayer? Absolutely. I'm in Quake. Mm, I know, but it's like the same style. Sure. Oh, they're, they're doing the like, gameplay. I really like the early animated ones with this. It's so cool. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That looks nice. Oh, noob tube character, gross. Oh yeah, dude. A whole game of just doom multiplayer, but really good. Dude, you better yeah. download this when you get home tomorrow night. Absolutely. I'm gonna flip you like a table. Okay, that's 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 flip me, come on. Go ahead. Words. Please. <laughs> Question, when's the last time you actually saw someone in real life flip a table? Um. Oh. Whoa. Okay. That was pretty cool. This is like this is like Mutant Soldier seventy six. He's not Dad seventy six. He's Uncle seventy six. Oh yeah, he's definitely creepy Uncle seventy six. Speaking of which, well, well. Oh, I think the Doom guy was in there. <clears throat> what well, is this free after that? Right? You said. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be a free game. No. Only if you download it during this week and play it. You gotta download oh. and play it this week. And if you do, you'll you'll uh, maybe not when it full releases, but the early access you'll retain early access. But like if you miss it this week, and then you're like, hey, I want to play it, play it. Well, you can't. oh, pray. This gotta be pray. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, here you can see now. Okay. This is me. Take a look at my fancy here. Studios here in Austin, Texas. It's been one year since we launched Prey, and we want to send a big thanks to our incredible fan base for Oh you. no! So inspired I want DLC! Enthusiasm. And as a way of showing our appreciation, we're rolling out a huge free update for Prey tonight. Tonight? Next time you fire up Prey, Did you bring Prey? you're gonna see three new modes. Story mode, okay. New Game Plus, which okay. was a big fan request, and survival mode, which should be an interesting challenge for our most hardcore fans. But that's huh. just the beginning. We are really excited to tell everyone that we've also been working on a new Prey DLC. Battle an Royale. An infinitely replayable experience <laughs> called Moon Crash. Yes. It's a new twist on Prey where the enemies, hazards, and loot are all different each time you play. We're so excited. We can't wait to show- What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's cool. Um, that was cool. I like it. That could have been bad. That could have been very bad. But I thought they, they did that very well. I thought they were gonna talk to it. Like, no, I, I liked, I liked it that it was the camera guy freaking out and not them. Like, that yep, was great. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Jack, you didn't even pray what you did, you. No. Ooh, good soundtrack choice. Dude, yeah. right? <laughs> this is why we're all friends. <laughs> oh no. Wow. So I gotta play again. Every death matters. Well, yeah, so it's gonna change every time you die. Yeah. So instead of, yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's really cool. You guys play Prey? Like, what did you think of it? I play. I played it with my friends, so I didn't get through the whole thing. Oh god. Um, this is one of those games I'll probably buy one now that like it's gonna get discounted. Yeah, I played bits and pieces. Oh, I thought you bought it. No, Butts bought it. I played with him. Oh, okay, it. okay. Oh, Moon Crash. Right, right. That was right. that was that was nice. I liked that. that oh! oh, that's cool. Oh, that oh, not a mimic. Not a mimic. Oh, jeez. 
That was super cool. Available now. Oh, they're live. All right, before we begin, yes, mom, I'm still alive. No, I'm not a mimic. Hang on. Her mom doesn't even know what that is. There. I just want to make sure nobody tries to smack you because I saw Pete Hines with a wrench backstage a second ago. <laughs> Thank you, Ricardo. That's very sweet of you. So. She said, never touch me again, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm reporting you to HR. You didn't tell me about this joke beforehand? And Moon Crash okay. is no exception. <clears throat> so you just saw a lot of cool stuff that's available tonight. But oh. See, we're not done yet. We have one more surprise coming later this summer called Battle Royale. Typhon Hunter. They're, they're, yeah. Typhon Hunter is a lethal game of hide and seek where one player goes head to head against five other players who get to be mimics. Oh, shit. And Whoa. Just like in Prey, the mimic players can disguise themselves as everyday objects. So, you know, things like. It feels like a GMod game, but I'm prop still on board. Prop, prop Hunt 2018 prop Prey Edition. No, it's reverse Prop Hunt, though, because you're hunting. Definitely mimics. not. You're doing both, though. Like, the mimics hunt the person, right. too, right? Yeah, I guess Absolutely so, yeah. Not. I guess they do, yeah. Probably not. No! <laughs> anyway. They're not. <laughs> who called that shot? Who? Who's the TD that said, I want that shot? <laughs> very high tolerance for jump scares. Before we go, I just want to say thanks on behalf of... So I understand. I totally, I totally get it, right? Like, not going to play most. Totally get People who make the games, I'm going to talk about the games. It's the best thing possible. I wish they could pair at least one personality slash actor with every person to help, like... Because what I've learned from acting is that if you have one really good actor with an, even, like, a non-actor, their energy will, like... Will like pass between no, you, no, no, and no, it'll no, like no. build easily, up the performance better. Easily, easily. So like, I wish like you had those two people. Well, beside. Yeah. Jens Mattis, and so like, I really wish they would say like those two people, and then a personality also who could like keep it feeling good. No, you need somebody who knows what they're talking about, but then with somebody who knows how to do PR stuff like that. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? Like half half of what they go on stage and talk about is PR, and half is games. So they talk about the game, the PR guy, talks the actor, or whatever, talks about PR. Yeah. And I'm Jarek Gustafsson, executive producer at Machine Games. Last year, millions of you took to the streets and sparked a revolution in Wolfenstein II, The New Colossus. All right, all right. As BJ Blast <laughs> it's like Wolfenstein III? Probably too soon. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And you beat the living fuck out of those Especially when DLC come out. <laughs> oh, jeez. What did say? Beat the living fuck out of them. Oh, those Nazis. <laughs> now let's do it right here in America! Before embracing our game. Look over there, it's a Nazi! Some guy just comes on stage and I'm... <laughs> Does he put... <laughs> you know he should have put a sticky note that says, Not a Nazi. <laughs> not a Nazi! I, I would actually love that. See, they should have did that. That's a missed opportunity. On June 29th, so you can fight the Nazis on the go. On the go. On the go. Oh, that's, that's, that's Switch, yeah. But you're saying that's Switch. And, uh, Wolfenstein Revolution continues with our I'll next buy it for Switch. project, which leaps ahead in time to tell the tale of BJ's twin daughters. What? Thanks for the DLC. What's happening? Set in the 1980s in Paris, Wolfenstein Youngblood Go on. pushes the story forward. This has to be DLC, right? It can't be its own game. This is definitely not announced, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, I know it's not announced, but like, this has to be... He's losing it. Can't be a new game, right? And because this game features BJ's oh. twin daughters, Wolfenstein Youngblood will be a co-op experience. Do <laughs> Let's play! Huge! Oh, <laughs> nice. That guy! That My man! Like you can also join with a friend to save the world together. The resistance is counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Wolf Inside 3, Brayden. It's not the All same right, thing. It's probably a smaller game experience. Especially if it's a co-op game. It's gonna be like a smaller... I can't wait till this is a full-blown game. I can't. Yeah, you're about to eat those words, man. It's not coming out till... Right, hang on. It's definitely not coming out this year, though. It's not coming out until, like... It's gonna no. say, out today. December, <laughs> December 2019... No, November 2019 at the earliest. I've been fighting all my life for this world. It never ends. They're gonna okay. send everything they have at you. Yeah, I do think it's too soon. What was that came out last year, right? You have to embrace the suffering. I wanna say yes. Yeah. Like, I feel like this carry. isn't a full game experience. No, they have, they have Wolfenstein the Old Blood. It's not about so, let's buy some of that. Can deal. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even, even though it should, it should, this should have just been DLC that you just play through one beside two. They're deciding to make it its own game, but it's not like going to be like a full. It's not going to be the same like size gameplay of of uh, Wolfenstein Two. Oh, it's a full game. I mean, yeah, that's what they said. It's its own okay, game, yeah. but I, I don't think it's the same scope as as Wolfenstein Two. It might be. I don't know. I. They said it was gonna be a co-op experience, so maybe maybe it'll be like a maybe the scale will be just a little smaller. But yeah, who knows? that's what I'm saying. And, that, and then you can totally turn that around. That Bethesda, we're proud of Shout out to Brayden. Wolfenstein Three, good for you. It's not Wolfenstein Three, though. That's what I'm saying. We Isn't it Wolfenstein Three though? That's like saying Halo Three ODST is a full Halo game. It's not. It's a great Halo game, but it's not a full Halo game. To Fallout Four, to Skyrim, and we're not done. Uh oh. Two of the franchises that we just heard about are gonna also offer VR experience. Oh yes. So. When Prey's Typhon Hunter is released later this summer, wow. you will experience the competitive mood, mode that mood. Susan and mood. Ricardo were just talking about in virtual reality. <laughs> Dude, and PSVR users and rejoice. <laughs> Bless you. Puts you in the Thank you. Of you want, want some, we have Talos. Yeah. Working to solve puzzles. Ew, aboard the Talos One Space Brody. 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 See, I was going to go for the vampire VR sneeze, game. but I was worried I'd just sneeze on Jack. I mean the dab. Yeah, it's is. called no, it's Wolfenstein Cyberpilot, in which you play a hacker who can take over Nazi robots and turn these war machines against their masters. In our ever-ending yeah. quest to bring the message of fuck Nazis to every platform possible. <laughs> I can't tell if he really likes Not saying this stuff or if he just really hates having to say this punches. stuff. Yeah. Both the Prey and Wolfenstein VR experiences are playable this week at our booth at E3, so please stop by and give them a try. Now, we are really excited about everything that we've shown here tonight, but I know there are a lot of you who are really here. Yeah, we're almost done. It's 10-17. It's only an hour. Now. Fallout 76. Yep, this is it. This, this, is, this is all we're doing now. It's Fallout. Wow, no, so no Skyrim project at all. to tell you now that your wait is finally over. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the recipient of Battle numerous Royale. Lifetime Achievement and Hall of Fame awards. He is the game director at a studio that has won a bevy of accolades and awards. Give us and the he's here tonight to tell us what he and his team have been taking so damn long to tell us all about. <laughs> I feel like Will I feel like that's not correct because this friend, is a fast Mr. turnaround Tom for a fall game. I agree. Yeah, this is like I, 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 that, that's, I feel like you're doing some shit. Look at him, he's a rock star! Look at him, look at his jacket! God. Look at him! He's, he's fucking like Tony Stark walking out! Fucking... Listen to that music he, he, he leaned in for the hug and Todd just stood there like, get off my stage, like... <laughs> yeah, they came right. from Xbox for me! We're all here! Todd said, shut up, Yo, clap, claps so, in the um, chat for Todd! Elder good. Scrolls, am I right, guys? <laughs> oh, it's great to be back at E3. Thank you, thank you so much! I could not be more excited to be here. I want to thank all our fans who came out tonight. It's always weird to me that Todd Howard isn't related to uh, and the millions of uh, you Ron Howard. Online. We can't thank you enough. The director? This yeah. Because they look, they look pretty similar. Like, if you look yeah. at them, you, if they sit next to each other, you'd be like, cousins. Like, you'd be like, you're cousins. And I have seen... They also have like something, like, or southern esque, you know, like. I've seen a lot of cool things in that time. I gotta say, tonight is definitely, definitely one of them. Brain's got clocks I in the chat. I got to go to the very first E3, right here in Los Angeles. Brag about know, it. They're so cute when they're little. <laughs> they're full of energy and life. And then Dude, look uh, at Todd when little E3 ran stage. away from home, went to What Atlanta. a bastard! Not yeah, even look at the teleprompter. He's just going. Home. That's called stage Atlanta. presence, man. That's what I'm saying. It's great. He's a rock star, dude. And then E3 went through the the moody teen years and came back and locked itself in its room. <laughs> Remember, it was in the convention center, but just in the meeting rooms. They didn't invite anybody. I remember that, yeah. And I can remember literally walking between the halls and seeing nobody. I was like, this is how a zombie movie starts. <laughs> I think, was, I think they had G4 E3 around then. Yeah. It's in its this 20s, is great. It's more confident, can handle its alcohol better, like all of you. <laughs> Thank Dude, you. this is... Oh, man, I love Todd Howard. This is Todd realizing they don't have enough Fallout footage no, to a, like, satisfy a, 45. No, he, al he always is one of these spiels when there's an actual ga new game. Like, I remember when, when Fallout 4, the, the, the E3 of Fallout 4 is an announcement, essentially, and everything like that. He I remember watching E3 Fallout 4. Brett was, I think... Such uh, an incredible was it Brett? Were you there, Brett? You might not... No, I think we watched... I think I was in the car with Brian when I watched it. 
uh. that most of you came here for one thing. Skyrim. Me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even hear what that was. I think someone else probably yelled out Skyrim, please. Yeah, probably Sky uh, Skyrim. No, I think he said Fallout 4, and I was like, what? <laughs> it definitely wasn't 76. I think it's to see where we're putting Skyrim next. <laughs> <laughs> oh my no! god! The people's champ! Someone <laughs> give, give him, give him the kind of funny belt. The Elder Scrolls speak of the past what? and the future. Now, Wait! Skyrim looks to the future, to its ultimate version. This is troll. Yeah, this is troll. <laughs> Alexa, play Skyrim. You're level 57 and see a tall snowy mountain. Climb it. Now, Skyrim <laughs> and life become one. A mud crab scuttles towards First Rodar! I didn't catch that. First Rodar! I didn't quite catch that. First Rodar! Your shout echoes all the way to Sovngarde. What happened? <coughs> First Rodar. That's the command for knocking things over. Is there a command for picking shit up? Ever reached that level yet? I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Ooh. The dragon unleashes fire breath on you. Are you okay. fucking you kidding me? You have 7% health This health is health. amazing! Oh, uh, I drink a health po potion. You are out of health potions. Oh, uh, oh how, how many uh, wheels of cheese do I have left? 473. Okay, I eat all the cheese. <laughs> I eat all of the cheese. All the hey, huh? <laughs> um, remember what the doctor said about dairy. Yes, right, yes, of course. You're the greatest. Thank you so much. I eat all of the cats. Introducing Skyrim, very special edition. Also, you did it again. Oh. <laughs> Motorola pagers oh, and your Samsung smart refrigerator. Oh, that's cool. Claps oh. in the chat. Oh. Standing ovation. Jesus Todd Christ. freaking Howard. You madman! Wait. What does he have to say to that? Had to, had to do it. Had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know what Brady thinks about okay, that. I imagine really. him laughing somewhere. So, why you're here, and that's to talk about the next Fallout. Wow. What do you say? Oh, that, that's, that's not That's not him. I'll read it. I'll always read it. Okay. To all the other games, and it's our biggest one yet. It is four times the size. Of Fallout 4. Stuff, we took away stuff, even stuff. more dialogue. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed, said I laugh so hard, hurt. very different wasteland. Is this literally the same thing from Xbox? Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I, I heard him. Uh, that, that, that intro God felt like. God damn it, it is! That, that intro felt like. Yeah. You the, can't do this. It was the. Yeah, it was the same exact thing from. Xbox. I would understand if Xbox. No, no. Even if Xbox was an exclusive partner. No way. There's gotta be more after this. <laughs> Brace is four times the size. It's what they say to me after they have sex with Jack and have sex with me. And they're <laughs> not talking about my penis. I was gonna say they're not talking. About <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh baby. But you know, a special guest. Right? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, I didn't realize that was a custom. It's all right. So. If they don't, so it's it's about we're six minutes away from an hour. If they end it at the end, if they just finish at the end of this trailer, no new footage, no new nothing to talk about for this game, right? That's insane, right? Oh, that'd be maddening. Yeah. Sprawling underground shelter may have been ended. Is there a release date for this? They'll have to add something at the end. Did they already announce a release date for this? I forget. Bombs do come. Jack, Fallout 76. Google has a release date. Oh, your phone's already out. Never mind. Um, I'll say it's this year. Is it really? We gotta hear this song. Out here. It's just gonna... Not seeing anything. Yeah, so it's not coming. It's not coming. They have a reset. This is like a teaser. Which makes sense that they're not like showing too much. Then, but uh, I still don't like. Why would you show it at Xbox? 
Like, don't get me wrong, made the Xbox conference great, but like, this is kind of your thing, you know? They must have something. Especially if you don't have a Skyrim. I would get it if they didn't have a Skyrim. If they had a Skyrim announcement, right? But, like, we're gonna get more time to the Skyrim announcement. So we're gonna drop, we're gonna drop the Fallout thing at, at Xbox to get good with Xbox. I would get that. That's not what's happening. Though. Not just walls, not just buildings. I do hope Alex Skyrim goes to the Alexa. That'd be hysterical. Mines. It's not. It's, it's just a joke. And ultimately, it was a great joke, America though. itself. They have nice choose your own adventure games on. Alright, this is where Todd shows all the cool stuff. Here we go. Come on, Todd. Come on, Todd. Don't lay down, Todd. In Vault 76. You can't put more production value future. into the joke. Smiles to the begins. camera. See ya. <laughs> you can't put more. more shush, shush, shush. Come on, bud. Don't let me down. But he invited us here from Xbox, so it has to be new. Vault 76, one of the very first vaults to open, thing. was okay. built to celebrate America's tercentenary, which is an awesome word, by the way. Like, that's your word of the night, tercentenary. You are one of the very special few selected to be an occupant and spend 25 years underground waiting for... Reclamation Day, the day the vault opens. Oh shit! There we go. Good morning, vault. Coming this year, I'm telling you, dropping it. They're like, okay, so let's see the single player. <clears throat> it's probably single Wait. player with a co-op function. Okay, please show me dialogue trees, dialogue trees, dialogue trees, dialogue trees. Overindulged and overslept, but it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Dude. That's a nice view. That's up there with the Fallout 3. We've already seen this shot, though. It's in the trailer. <clears throat> now, the right side, we haven't seen. We always start with the world, and this time it features all new rendering, oh, we're going for like another half hour. and landscape technology. Yeah, this Probably. Is, this it might allows be the big us thing. to have 16 times the detail and even view distant weather systems across the map. Now, most people don't know West Virginia that well. It is an incredible array of This is of such a Todd Howard thing. ...towns and government secrets. <clears throat> this is where the actual nuclear secrets are. And the quest the Overseer sends you on will take you through six distinct regions, each with their own style, risks, and rewards. <laughs> There's plenty of cool new Fallout creatures, and we even use the folklore of West Virginia so, to bring our Fallout versions to life. <clears throat> so since this is the same engine as 4, I would hope there's a multiplayer component. Because they didn't have to actually like update stuff, so they actually have time to do that. We have always wanted to tell that story <clears throat> of what it will be like for you and the other characters who were first to leave the vaults. But there Man. is one big difference uh -oh. with this game. Oh, here, here it is. It's that each of those characters is a real person. Oh. Here it is, MMO! Oh, man. Because yes, Fallout 76, is entirely online. Yes! Wow! Yes! Oh! Woo! All right, there it is. We did it! We did it, boys! Yeah. We did it! Oh, I, got, I already got you! Let me get Jack! Uh, yes! 
Fuck. I'm gonna go through them in order. Now I'll hit a couple of the big ones. Okay. First, of course you can play this solo. All right? You'll, you'll be who you want, exploring a huge world, doing quests, experiencing a story, and leveling up. We love those things about Yeah, it's a toggle system. Too. It would not have it any other it's way. It's like GTA. You either play it but online also, or online. So, like many of you, we have always wanted to see what our style of game could be with multiplayer. Yes! So many of us talk oh. about experiences in our games, but we've never experienced Jack, this is it. This is the next big game together. for you two. Yeah, really, geez. So about four <sighs> years ago, we hit upon an idea that is perfect for Fallout. Wow, so they developed this Open along with Fallout 4 survival. almost. Survival. Jeez. Every person and character is real. And it was an idea that we just couldn't shake. We knew we had to do it and do it in a really big way. Grand saying I've wanted now, this since Fallout 3. Now, I know 3. you may oh, have yeah? played survival modes in like some of our previous games or some other online games. And we, you know, people wonder, is this hardcore survival? I like to think of it maybe, it's more softcore survival. Oh man, time to the fuck up everyone's day. Maybe that should be a new ESRB descriptor. Um, <laughs> death never means the loss of progression or the loss oh of my your character. God. Your character isn't tied to one server. As a matter of fact, you'll never <coughs> even see a server when you play. You'll be in a world with dozens, not hundreds, yes, this is like not GTA. thousands of other players. It's the apocalypse. It's not an amusement park, okay? <laughs> and you'll be able to join your friends whenever you want, and all of your progression goes with you. Huh. Okay, I dig. This, is, right. this is great. This is exactly... Huh. It's a co-op using games, an online server, essentially. We think about worlds and the choices that you can make, the stories... That you create Notice how, like, all the camera yourself. angles and production value just went up, like, 20 By times for Todd Howard. Like, world with <laughs> everyone else got, like, one rules. stationary camera with we a close-up shot also. And he's getting, like, a full moving any set. game that we've ever done where the choices are yours, where you'll decide what happens. You'll decide the heroes, and you'll decide the villains. Ah, uh, we're going to be Look, villains. This is a whole new world we're gonna kill everybody. all of us here. And fortunately, our friends at vault -Tec have made a series of informational videos oh, fuck yeah. for when all of us emerge together. Good lord. I love E3 oh. so much! Oh, yes. As you venture out into this new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. All right. That's some bad shooting right there. That's also bad shooting. Why would you shoot? Yeah, there you go. Footlock pistol. That's a good idea. Yeah, he did it. Oh, wow. You're stunned. So you're waiting to die. No, he got Shut down. This there, down. Yeah. Not all Vault 76 dwellers will be so hostile. Find them and brave the new world together. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. This is amazing. It's like baby. It's like Destiny, like Fallout. So what are we all buying up this on? Yeah, PC dollars. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. PC Xbox also plays PC, so solid. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> them, them online elements, gotta love them. Fallout Destiny. Absolutely. You can finally show people the houses you built. Sloth! Giant sloth. Dude, I wanna hug it. Ooh. I like how they went for the headshot and there was no head. Wow, this is actually pretty freaking sweet. That's Dude, gonna right? be- Oh! All of my yes. Like previous Fallouts, you can play this game solo in quests. But the easiest way to survive in the wasteland 
is to team up and build together. And in this one, you can build wherever you want. And you can also then move that to wherever you want. Fortnite! <laughs> A new American dream. Did it. I After love it. thermonuclear war, man's towering industrial marvels may no longer stretch to the heavens. What separates man from beast? It is his desire to build. Get started with caps. The construction and assembly mobile platform. Oh, wow. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, oh, man, it's, you can it's now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal. How many other games can you compare this to? <laughs> Minecraft. Um, it falls on you and the ingenuity Minecraft, of your fellows uh, Fortnite, to uh, Already did that one. The Sims. We hold the Destiny. Uh, what's more like house building games? Sims. Already did Sims. Okay. But don't become too attached. Animal to Crossing. Crossing. Monitor your environment for anything out of the ordinary. Huh. All right. So that's awesome. The home of tomorrow may undergo certain challenges. See, that's awesome. Like, you actually have to, like, think about what you're doing. Your neighbors and take care of it. Success. There's no I in nuclear wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> Document your adventures. Your memories will shape the new American dream. What's that sound? Oh dear. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my. There's a nuke just yeah, on screen. We love it feels dynamic game systems. So we thought, why don't we put multiple nuclear missile sites oh my on God. the map? <laughs> and? And then let all of you do whatever you want with them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Today's episode, Atomics for <laughs> When you emerge from the comfort and safety of your vault, the world you oh know my will have God. changed. Take your friendly old neighbor, Johnny. Rather than coming over to borrow a cup of sugar, he may now be coming over for murder. <laughs> time has come to seek out greater means of protection. Nuclear armaments. That's right. Courtesy of your uncle Loving Sam, the flag. these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fellow like I like how they're all rebuilding because of nuclear, nuclear war, and they're like, ask. now that it's all over, go get some nukes! Begin by inquiring with the locals. Gently coax them into cooperation. Use a little elbow grease if you have to. Oh. In the likely event you don't acquire a full code on your own, do not give up. Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. You'll Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. launch code in no time. With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider your target oh my God. carefully. Attention. Launch sequence activated. <laughs> Just nuke people. I feel like it's nuking it. I feel like someone's gonna break the system now. Like it just takes one good set of hacks on a group of people to like control the silo. Will your land on a rival camp of degenerates? A random stranger? The local wildlife? Whatever your target may be, take advantage of the resulting fallout to gather rare and valuable resources. They thought of everything. Oh my God. Yet these rewards don't come without risk. Jeez. The fate of this new world is yours to command with the power of the atom. What on earth is going on? This is uh, going to be the single best RPG in the last five years. We know oh you've my played God. a lot of our games and a lot of online games, but this one really is unique. We have built a platform 100% that 
dedicated servers oh. that will support this game now and for years to come. Oh, daddy, please. Stop now, I'm already look, look, finished. We know this is new for all of you. It's new for us, it's a little bit scary. And to that end, we're gonna need your help. Oh, beta. God. Yes, we are going to have a beta. Oh my God. Watch, he's gonna say today. it is sponsored by our friends at vault -Tech as well. The Break It Early test application. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, these online games Todd! are hard. They can have some love nasty you. issues. I love you, Ty. I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> a few. I did. I read it on the internet, so it's true. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Oh! <laughs> anyway, we know together <laughs> that we are going to build something uh, really special. And we also know that all of you love our special editions, and we have an awesome collector's edition for you. It's coming out this year. They're already talking about this. It starts with a map of the world that glows. This year in or the next spring. Dark. Glows in the dark. Causing it, of course. This game will be out and by May of next year. It's so cool. <laughs> Todd. Uh, it comes with figures you can put on the map. And it also comes with a Fallout collectible that really I've always wanted, so we made them for everybody oh, no. to buy, and here it is. Oh no. Helmet. No. Straighten itself. Yeah, it's just a helmet. That is awesome. It's gonna have, yeah, it's gonna have the lamp and everything. Like. Ain't no use in dying. The question is like, what's the, what, how, what's the quality Voice of this? Modulation. What's gonna be the quality of this compared to the Pit Boy, essentially? Wearable. It. Fuck. Yeah, Jordan, I hope you're taking notes. Uh, I want to see like Todd wearing it. Yeah, the, the light should have came back on. He should have had it on. Yes, all of this, the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. Wear the Power Armor with a Soldier 76 jacket. When is this game coming out? Oh. No. We're excited to say. That it's coming out. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! They did it! They did it! The Mad Men did it! The absolute Mad Men. Base, base Todd Howard. Thanks oh again. my god! How much cocaine is he on right now? <laughs> we, How much? We and probably the rest of Ray went from like, oh my god, they're showing the Xbox trailer to, oh my god! With all of you. We do have another Fallout anniversary that we are celebrating here at E3. Oh, no. It is the three-year anniversary of Fallout Shelter, which we <laughs> okay. announced and released <laughs> yeah. right here at E3. That game was good. And that was a good game. some cool surprises for you. Fallout Shelter is coming to the PlayStation 4. <laughs> he can't even look at it. Because that guy said it, it's also coming Switch. to the Nintendo yeah. Switch. <laughs> Easy. Look at that! Did you hear that? You can play it with the Joy-Cons or touch controls. And yes, it's still free. Um, <laughs> Dead. It has to say Fallout 3. And excited no, to say consciousness. these versions are coming out tonight. <laughs> oh, I love E3! Oh, Again, Bethesda. Thank you so much for your support of all that we do coming here tonight. When we see how many of you November? our games have touched, it's incredibly special. It's insane. Especially Fallout Shelter. Well, that they, game they started designing it four years ago. played by over all right. 120 million people. So they built the base engine Incredible. when they started on Fallout 4, and they just pivoted into a different team, probably. That or went half season, then the rest of the team came up from 4. Then every game that we have made combined. Here it is. Incredible. Collection. Yeah. It does kind of make you stop and realize that our games oh, can no. have new lives on any type of device or system. Oh, no. Every console. And, you know, when we Collection. looked at the iPhone 11 years ago, we had a few ideas for mobile games. Fallout Shelter <laughs> was one of them. And we did have another one that was far, far more ambitious. Oh, wait, no, wait. And we've been building it. That's not possible. 
and it's in the other franchise that you love from us. Oh, no. Oh, Skyrim. It is called toy with me. The Elder Scrolls Blades. Uh, I'm kind of hyped about this, I guess. Show me. I need gameplay. Like Fallout Shelter, we wanted an experience that we were not finding anywhere else. Here it is. Blades, at its heart, is a pure Elder Scrolls game. A massive first-person RPG with console-quality graphics, but with a uniquely mobile experience. Believe me when I say- I'm not crying, you're crying. It's running on an iPhone 10. This gigantic screen does not do it justice. You can tap to move or use dual sticks. Combat is all new, and it follows your specific movements and timings. It is kind of silly, but I dig it. Silly, but like, oh it's, my God. what do you mean? It's no more silly than Skyrim. Yeah. Elder Scrolls Arena, this game features both handcrafted and procedurally generated. This looks dungeons. great! And this is blowing up. Imagine how much better it looks when the and screen's like, you know, melee. like, you not shrunk, but you know, compressed. You and spells you can use. <laughs> and of course, you can create your own character and be who you want to be. Improving them. It's going to be free, too. Or it's going to be like $10. That's, a th that's why it's so great. Five bucks. Ten dollars. <throat> if they're charging ten dollars. I'm calling it. And the entire game can be played in portrait mode. <laughs> that huh. one was incredibly important to us, that you could play it however you wanted. So it's not how it runs Bethesda, right? <laughs> like, we were just joking earlier, but actually, like, Todd Howard just runs Bethesda. Degenerates. Degenerates? Whoa! Yes! Whoa! I love this man! It's Ugh. not just dungeons. It's incredible outdoor areas. Yes, running on a phone. It really looks and plays incredible. Huh. Wow. 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 Yeah, you chit Jack. Blaze has several modes of play. It's out today First, too. I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm checking. Oh, it's probably only iOS. It's probably not Android because it keeps saying iOS. How far you can go yeah. In an endless dungeon, in the arena, try anyway. where you will do battle one on one against other players, and the main mode, the town. This is the hub for your story and quests. Oh. You are a member of. The I thought it was gonna be a dungeon. The Empire's top agents. Forced in exile, you return home to find your town destroyed and need to rebuild it. Yes, Blades also features a town building mode. You'll decide what your town is like what? and be able to upgrade and decorate. And this game all is only 100 gigs on your phone. <laughs> Who cares? Up, you'll unlock new NPCs. It's probably, it's probably like a lot of cloud computing to be honest. Probably to be you online. can even visit your friends for the non dungeon. It's available right now. Actually, look on all your phones. It's already there. It's already there. You know what? If you're in the room right now, there's a phone under your chair. You get to keep that. <laughs> this is an Elder Scrolls game. Brady must be going so crazy. He literally hasn't said anything. For yeah. like, wherever <laughs> you want. And we are going to bring blades to every device and system we can. Okay. Phones, PCs, consoles. <laughs> Also, virtual reality, on mobile, all the way up to high-end VR, on PCs. And what's really cool is all of those connect to each other. So one of my dreams is we'll go back to that portrait mode, which I like to call meeting mode. Because if you're in a meeting on your f playing a game, in portrait mode, no one knows you're playing a game. 
And so with Blades, you could be in a meeting playing Blades against someone at home in VR. Blades is coming this fall for free. That, that's... <laughs> free, wait, pre-order for free? <laughs> oh, I don't care. And you can, you can call whatever you want. It tonight on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Google Play. Also, this I just tried. It's not on there. Go to playblades.com and register for early access. If you're here at E3, Blades is going to be playable in our booth. So please, come by and check it out. You really need to see it running on the phone. We'd love to see yes. you. Yes. Please come by. All right. Fall three anniversary. All right. All right. There's, there's I more? I want to thank you all again, all of our fans here, everybody watching Pack online. Packed by the division, just like Xbox. your support over the years. It is so exciting to show you all that we have coming out this no, year. No, they would have announced the fall collection like before. It is an honor and this. a blessing to represent all of the incredible people at Bethesda Game Studios. We have three offices now in Maryland, Montreal, and Austin. There's a lot of them here tonight. I want them to hear your appreciation for their work. What a rock star. Just the Tony Stark of games. Thank you. We're out the alcohol one, isn't it? <clears throat> and a self-destructive nature. He's the Barack Obama of games. All right, sure. Just the best team and group of people I could ever hope for. Ama amazing. Um, we also thought, since we're all here together tonight and it's so special, maybe we'd do something a little different, too. Oh, no. And tell you what <laughs> okay. we have coming beyond this year in the future. That's what I was curious about, because they said that at the beginning. We have also been working on a brand new next generation Skyrim. single player game. Oh no. oh no, the mad the mad lads. But this one is IP. in an all new epic franchise. No IP. No IP. Our first wholly original franchise in 25 years. Yes! Oh no. What do you mean? I'm just nervous. I don't see what it is. He's not showing it. They're talking about We're it. We're excited to announce our next adventure. There's a trailer? Of course. We, you, you can't end it without a, a trailer. Listen, I've seen some people shit the uh. bed, all right? Come on. It's a new IP. I don't know what you're listening for. There's no hints. Wait. Space. 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 That might be Earth. Oh, it's probably just a title screen. Destiny. <laughs> we bought Destiny and we made it our own. What is this? Pray, but spelled differently. Starfield. Wow! Wow! Oh, what? Man, if you were mentioning that comments on Reddit, we could bust that out. What do you mean? Starfield that they announced a few times. Is a game that we have spent years thinking about and working on. Something we feel Comes uniquely positioned. No, it's to your next gen. And that we're incredibly excited about. But. Oh, God. We're also building toward the game after that. <laughs> and it's the one please, please. you keep asking about. Skyrim! Yeah! <laughs> this, this is it! Bethesda wins E3! <laughs> this is it! How does it get better than this? Skyrim 2. <laughs> they, if they do a Skyrim 2, they're doing Red Dead 2, I'm actually just gonna leave. I don't understand! How could they make another Skyrim when they're making Skyrim online? I don't understand! <laughs> that was you, an hour ago. Oh. Yes! God damn it. Those fucks! <laughs> that they got me. Man. Yeah, they got I'll me. stand! They got I'll me. stand! Okay, sure. Okay, 
Why are you like half standing? Really because I didn't want my crotch to impede on the mic. Got it. The time you've spent in our worlds, we'll see you out there. Todd Howard, you bastard! You rock star! You goddamn rock star! They're not done. Himes is coming back to the stage. <sighs> Please, I can't. I'm too. Uh, Another round of applause. No, I, I, he's, too just much he's just closing. It's fine. too much Todd. Oh. Ty went we full only get him time. Up here like once every three E threes, but boy, when he shows up, he brings <laughs> the goods. <laughs> Thanks also to all of our studios and teams around the world who are so dedicated to giving our fans the very best games. Wow. If you're a gamer on any platform of any kind, we think we've got something for you. Jeez. I hope you're as excited about what you've seen tonight as we are, whether it's a new Fallout game, a new Elder Scrolls game from Bethesda Game Studios that you can play on your phone for free, <laughs> Rage 2, Doom Eternal, and so much more. We're really excited. Now, remember, if you want to be one of the first to play Elder Scrolls Blades or join the Fallout 76 beta, you need to go to Bethesda Net and register. It's easy. And, and it's free. down. It's already down. <laughs> for all of you here with us tonight, thank you so much for joining. The party is going to continue afterwards. For everyone else around the world, thank you so much for joining us. Everyone have a good night and a great E3. Well, shit. All right, well, let, let, let me pause this so we can talk. Those bastards. So the entire time I'm watching that conference, and you guys are already on your phones. Uh, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> too I'm, many texts for elder schools, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, why aren't those people in our chat? <laughs> um, the entire time I'm watching that, I was like, this conference isn't that good. Yes, agreed. I was like, even when we get the 76, it isn't that good. Yeah. Even even when they announced multiplayer for 76, I'm like, okay, well, like, if we're judging it based on Fallout, it's a nine out of ten. If we're judging it as a whole, it's still only like a seven out of ten. And then all that happened. <laughs> then Todd, then Todd just whipped out his big old dick right in front of us. And he went full Todd. Jeez, full S college Todd. Dude. That was college Todd right there, showing us who's boss. That's um, pretty wild. So ten out of ten, oh. right? Like, yeah, I I do think that I I it did feel like and there was know, a pacing issues, but aside from that, I think you mentioned. I think there were. I mean, but I think those. I think it all built up. I think it all built up to Todd. They're yeah, like, no, they're like, so like you can't like, get all this other shit out. Yeah. Of like, you can't have a really yeah, you nice can't, high without having a super good low. Right, because everything else they're doing for this year, like, not that it's bad. It's definitely not bad. Yet. Rage two isn't bad. We're just not interested. We're like, we don't understand exactly. Oh, yeah. That's our problem. You can't have that level with all. All your shit is meaningless. If anybody, even if it's in the middle, right? Even though, like, uh, Rage two. All that stuff at the end, everything else, like no matter where you place it, it ruins the entire thing unless you get to the end. So I, I think Like honestly, I forgot about all the other stuff they showed. Like, everything else I forgot uh, oh, about. Oh yeah, no, Todd, Todd's until, part Like was... the minute Todd came out, even like you said, like the production value of the conference changed. Yeah, no, like, yeah. I think like, yeah, like my yeah. like my film brain was just looking at them like everything changed. Like there's like like before, so like before like when you were at even Prey, and Prey had some really cool stuff like with the video and stuff like that. You had like you got two person shot, close up camera, close up camera, and then you had like the the wide angles stage shot, but they were all locked. Mm -hmm. And then you had Todd, and it's like moving camera one, moving camera on the other side of the stage. We have a face lock, we have a body lock, we have a crowd lock that you see him like through the crowd. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what is this? Like, oh. Brain says, uh, Brain says, what would you have changed? Nothing. Anything from this? Pray to. <laughs> I mean, so so okay, so I do have to say, um. I probably would I, I I probably would not have enjoyed Todd Howard uh, as much if I didn't have to compare it to the fact that this all opened with, with me getting a, a live rendition of Ready to Die from Andrew W. Yeah, I think, <laughs> let, me, let me say that though. That's what I said at the beginning, right? That was all there to put your expectations so goddamn low. So when we got to this point, we're literally jumping out of our seats going crazy. Like, well, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think to me, um, it's not, it's not that I'm not excited about Rage or Wolfenstein or Prey. DLC. We're really excited about Prey DLC. Um, I think that the, it, I think, and you, I think you can see it from a lot of the audience reactions and how they were dressed. Like they just weren't really there for that. Yeah. Like they were there for what 
They want to see Fallout 76. That's what we all wanted to see. And we wanted to see if the new Elder Scrolls was coming. Yep. And you could even tell that because I felt like whatever else was up there, they were either reading a teleprompter, they felt rushed, or, you know, it felt like it wasn't a production value. The minute Todd went out there, he's like, okay, I'm going to give the people like, whatever they want, I'm just going to give it to them. I'm going to give them things they didn't even know they wanted. You want a blowjob, sir? I'll like, come see you after the show. Like, you ever think about Elder Scrolls Mobile? Of course you didn't. We did, though. <laughs> Bang! And then, <laughs> you know, new Fallout game. I want Elder Scrolls. Fine. You got it. You guys uh, are like, and you then, want... No, and he even, he even had the balls, the balls to go for the meme. And it's like, just because you guys keep talking about it. Skyrim. On Alexa, on yeah, and then they followed it up. Then they followed it up with Skyrim with, with, with Elder Scrolls on your phone. I was like, what? Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not that the other games were bad or not interesting. It's there was that there was that definite change of production value, or and again, that might be Todd just being better at this. Than other people. Yeah, I, I, oh, they, yeah. I like yeah. he knows. Like he's a show. Like, I, but but the other half is that they they gave him the resources to do it. So. I mean, oh, yeah. and like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like, yeah. You know what we we were saying how we wish that and again you saw when we were watching Microsoft. Phil is very good at because like half of this conference isn't just the game itself. Part of the conference is how are you selling me this game? It's a yeah. weird balance. Like yeah. people like get mad at Ubisoft for going like way too far. Like 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 I like Alicia Tyler, but like everything else they did. Like I love her things. I really liked her as a host. But then they were always be like, all right, Dance Central. We got a whole like like two pop artists and a dance crew out here dance. Like that's too like too like, much. Phil, too you much. know, is a businessman, but he also likes he's a gamer good, and he wants he knows what excites it. him and he puts it out. And, there. Yep. And I think when you see. Prey, even the Prey one we liked, because again, why? as much as we did like the, the announcement of Prey, I think the people who sold it, sold it well, and I think that's part of it. Like, I think like that weird band opening for Rage, it was, like, you could say like that's the <laughs> thing. Like, it's like that I weird mean, band, I mean, he, doesn't, okay, he still doesn't okay, understand who that okay. was. So here's, here's, like, here's my, okay, my head cannon, thing. my head cannon on that goes the following. Um, They basically blew their entire budget on Todd's bit because Todd goes, okay, I got this, 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 that, and these to all send to these people. Uh, Give me money, please. And they gave him all that's the budget it. for his part. And then when you're left with the guys doing Prey and Rage, they're just like, okay, what do you have? I have 10 bucks. What will that buy us? That buys us Andrew WK, everybody. No, it's not that like that. Cause I know Andrew that's... WK paid them. That was promotion for him. No, I know that's the theme song. <laughs> I understood that. But again, like oh, yeah. it just comes across. Because I think in the end, for me, as much as this is a gaming conference, they're a business. You know, like they, yeah. they want to, you need to do whatever it takes to get because I'm not buying Rage Two. I know no, I'm not no, buying not it. Buying. Like I know that. I know I'm not going to buy it. So you have to do whatever you can to make me buy it. Like that's what like, everyone knows. People are buying Elder Scrolls. Everyone's buying Fallout seventy six. Todd has to go out there and just not fuck it up. Like that's yeah, what but I, he did. But he no, that's the thing though. He doesn't just go and not fuck it up. He takes it to a whole nother level. And then every goddamn time, and that's what I'm saying. It's James not, wants to know how do they have so many DM games because they're so freaking great. And that's what like three and locations. And it's not that I don't want to play Wolfenstein. It's not I don't want to play Prey. It's just that. Again, when I think Bethesda even knew going into this, they're like, they're here for three things. They want to see Fallout, and they want to know if we have Elder Scrolls. That's what yeah. everyone wanted. That's what we were sitting yeah. here waiting for. Yeah. And, and I think, because again, like, it's not that those games aren't good. It's just that you either have to, you have to come out there and make me want them. Yeah. Whereas Todd has to go out there and just tell you that it's going to, you know, he even said it. Like, it's not just going to work. We, have to, like, we need your help making it work. Like, he understands... The issues that his company faces, which is sometimes the games don't work, sometimes they're buggy, you know, stuff like that. And he would address that. Whereas I felt like the other games were kind of like, yay, we like games. And like, yeah, it's yeah. nice, but like, uh, yeah, but yeah. you have to make me want it. Yeah, because again, Prey is a game that's kind of like a year old. If people already play the single player, they have to spend money to buy this DLC. Does it cost anything? You have to make them want to spend that money. Even the Wolfenstein, like, that's cool and all, but Wolfenstein New Colossus, you know, had a really kind of weird ending. And it was like, okay, so I'm like, Okay, but now you make me want to buy this next one again, and that's what I'm saying. When 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 Todd came out, it was like no holds barred, like game over. Yeah. Like and yeah. So again, I think from Todd upwards, it's the best conference. Other than that, like I think Bethesda did need to kind of step it up a bit compared to like Microsoft today. I can't wait but. for the one day where we get to like direct or host one of these. Yeah, right. Really, right. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm not gonna let EA tell me what my script is. I mean, like, this is my script. This but yeah, is it. it was definitely. This is what they want to see. It was definitely fun. I liked it. Um, there were some weird points, but I, th I really, again, I think everyone. What knew. was the weirdest point? 
I mean, I think the band was pretty weird. Like, or the or the not a mimic. I said part. it. I'm just like, like the not a mimic uh, sticking. That was pretty weird. Okay, yeah, no. The that, fact that they also didn't weird. bring the joke back. I liked back. it. But... Oh, no, the teleprompter was weird too. The teleprompter. That's not weird. That's well, that was just the teleprompter. Wait, uh, you missed hiccup. it. I got. I'm gonna pull the teleprompter for you. I okay, sure. Okay, sure. Brett, you can, right, you can talk about what you like while I'm doing. Yes. Um. So let me think. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically, everything that needed to be said was said. It was like. Yeah, no, Todd, Todd Howard knew it, exactly what it was looking for, gave it to us in a way. All right, hold on. Okay, let me see this. Hi, everyone. <laughs> My name is Avalanche Studios Games. And as we're about to show you, they delivered big time. <laughs> Well, thank you, Tim. <laughs> Jeez, no. Why? See, at first you're like, oh, they're Why? milking the joke, yeah. and you're like, and then you're like, oh, the tall problem is broken. See, they just stand well, there. Speaking for everyone at Avalon Studios, <laughs> this is a real Jesus. Oh, that, that was, was, like, like, that was they painful. They just stood there. Yeah. Didn't even address it. Just they, they weren't uh -huh. they, they they weren't uh -huh. even they weren't even like well you know uh -huh. we all know uh -huh. with gaming like small discs have big packages and you just point at him make a small making a small joke like come on like you know anything. Well, anything. Uh, well, I mean, but that's the thing. That's how you know that those guys don't are they're they're not they're not they're not, they're, they ain't they're, no they're Todd not, Howard. They're not about that. Yeah, they're no Todd Howard. <laughs> they ain't born in West Virginia. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to see what, what the people are saying about Elder Scrolls on Reddit. I'm sure they're freaking out. I'm sure Reddit is crashed. Reddit's down. Everything's down. <laughs> well, I mean, that's I think. I think again, I think going back to our podcast, I think I, I especially went to this E3 very nervous, um, and I've been very pleasantly surprised. I think I, there, mm -hmm. I think I am getting very excited about the gaming industry again, um, based on what I've seen. And even I think the effort that everyone so far has put in to trying to get you to want something to show that they're kind of like uh, we haven't uh, I haven't heard mention of DLC like that uh, like paid microtransactions once yet like I and like and all this nickel and dime I haven't heard. Can of I once say yet. something I'm also really surprised about because then we've already seen like a major console conference with Microsoft and we're not counting the game that's already out for this on on Xbox and we're not counting EA mentioning it because EA's press conference suck in general. There's been no mention about Royale. Yeah, Which I expected them. To, I expected Microsoft yeah. to be like, we have three indie battle royale yeah. games coming out. Be like, yeah. we have this game coming battle. We have Fallout coming battle. Like when he when he's like open world with a hundred players, I was like, is he about to say it's battle royale? And he didn't. And I'm like, thank Christ, dude. I'm I'm interested. Uh, no, I don't think. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't like, think. No, I don't only, think he would have gone for that. Right. I don't think he would either. But like, yeah. gets, our fear going talk, into talk, E3 like, is like, oh, everyone's gonna ride the trend like always. And it was like, like he would Battlefield have, was like, we're doing, we're doing. Everyone thought when Battlefield didn't announce it at the reveal event, they're like, oh, no battle royale, Battlefield. Like, Shit! And then you only see PUBG, and you're like, oh, okay. Now I'm interested in a. I th I think both conferences today, um, gave give Sony a run for their money here. I think. Yeah, I, Sony's got I, to step up. I do think Sony has to come out of the gig. Shenmue's show. already postponed again. What are you gonna do? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I like, I I'm not saying that Sony doesn't have good games that they do, but again, like. <sighs> Xbox really came out of the gate to prove something. I think even with like Bethesda, like Elder Scrolls and Fallout, like in the same like time, like not even the same year, but like just announced at the same time is very like yeah, that's very unorthodox. Yeah, yeah. Like that's a whole lot. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, I don't know what surprises. I mean, Sony, Sony very possibly has some really good surprises hiding. That's very, very possible. It is. Like, yeah. very My possible. thing is that if you look at the things they plan on toting around from like the last couple of E3s and leading into E3, Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Delayed. Shenmue 3. Delayed. Didn't even see it last year. I don't think at E3. Um, freaking Death Stranding. Not coming out anytime soon. True. Not happening. Uh, there was a fourth one. Like the, only thing, the, only, the only big thing I know that they are... there's There are three big things that I know they are getting that they can tote around. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, Day, days the Zombie Game. What is it? Darkest uh, Days or whatever. Uh, I, know, I, 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 know, I know what it is. Days of something, I know. I know. Yeah, the, the zombie, the zombie game, the biker zombie game. Okay. And days gone, days gone. Yes. Uh, and the other zombie game, Last of Us Two. Ah, Those are the yep. three things they can actually talk about that may or may not be coming out in the next year and a half. True. Okay. Everything else is like Kingdom Hearts has come out in January. I don't believe it. I don't hey, Kingdom Hearts is that Xbox. <laughs> like <laughs> they already announced it though. I think didn't they? I thought they announced it like years ago. They're like, this well, I know it's on Xbox, Xbox, but I never would have expected to see it at the conference. Right. So. And I, well, I think they're just trying to 
they're following up the bad news with with just putting it in your face. I think is yeah. what it is. I mean, I'm, I'm pumped for it though. I mean, the fact that oh, I sure. saw, you know, it's, it's a very magical day for me to have actually seen it. Oh my but, god. Oh yeah. Um, very full day. I'm exhausted. This is I don't feel like quite, yeah, I feel there's no quite, any follow ups. Everything's pretty. Yeah. I think all of our favorite parts of the self explanatory. Our rating is self explanatory. Everyone's favorite part is gonna be our favorite part. I mean, at, at, yeah. at this point, at this point, yeah. my favorite part is when I want Mario Party. Yeah, so. I mean, except the one guy in that crowd who I'm sure was an Andrew WK fan. Yeah, I'm sure he was having a blast. But he had the best time. I don't know, but it, that's so far day one is pretty pretty awesome. I bet you anything, there was one person from Destroy Build Destroy in that, in that <laughs> audience. But I, I you him. gave me money to blow shit up. <laughs> but I'm 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 kind of psyched for tomorrow. So yeah. Well, uh, tomorrow Brett will not be will not be joining us. Yeah, so, uh, sad. Yeah, we might have, I have obligations. We might have, we might have Bert. So is Bert maybe coming tomorrow? Let's we'll text him. He might be. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Bert might be coming. Uh, I think I might have another person stopping in. If we do have multiple people, play some cards. Maybe who knows? Sounds good. Uh, but guys, we are going live tomorrow at twelve noon. The conference starts at one, so we'll be going live at twelve for an hour, probably just playing some games and chilling, leading up to it. And uh, we're going through all the conferences all night. We're probably going to be going to. I think I think I scheduled it to nine because we don't exactly know when Sony ends. I gave it like two hours, I think. But sure. whew, it's gonna be uh, I'm excited. I I don't know how it gets better than this. I just hope if they if they can at least be on the same par as Microsoft, this is gonna yeah, be a great. Yeah, I hope so. That's, that's my hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as they're all like around Microsoft tier, I will be. I'm perfectly fine. I'm excited for Square Enix simply because of the fact that they scheduled this conference. And they had to know when they scheduled this conference because we didn't hear any news about like something big happening at Square Enix. Like because we didn't hear about any big shakeups or changes that happened that have caused this Kingdom Hearts delay. It's just like just delayed. We want more time. They had to have had an idea that this might be a thing that would happen by the time they got the E three. And so I'm wondering what the hell they're bringing. I'm w- I want to know what this conference is. Yeah, it's their own okay. conference, right? Yeah, Final Fantasy VII is gonna be there. Should be. I mean, I, if I was that's not coming out either, asked. probably though. That's what I'm saying. So I mean, like, yeah, but that's gonna be. That's it gonna should be, be a there. It, it should, should be no, there. No, 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 no. It has to be there for Christ's sake. But that's sake. what I'm saying. What's like, but like, if, if you only show games that we are probably not getting for two years, like, yeah, people yeah. are not gonna be happy. So like, yeah. but they're too smart for that. That's my thing. So I'm like, I'm like, what? I, I it's just a lot know. for. It's a me, I mean, you know? like, I would even say Square Enix isn't even. I mean, are the, do they also like? I mean, they don't make many games a year. Like Ubisoft pumps out stuff, you know. That's that's like, my thing. Like, I'm just like, like what is that, it? Like, even like EA, a publisher, obviously, Bethesda pumps out a lot too. Like for Maybe me, they're like, just being very overconfident with what they have down the like pipeline. Like a Square Enix conference. Maybe is, I don't like, know. What on earth that could are be, you bringing yeah, to that the could, table? Yeah, that could be like them. This could be them. Basically, throw uh, like following in like uh, their step by step process to drum up hype for the next things that they have down. I guess say probably the year's worth of pipeline, because like maybe they maybe they think they need it. Maybe I don't know. Either way, I'm interested to see what happens. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be new Kingdom Hearts footage, like actual gameplay. I'm sure we're gonna see gameplay of Seven that is an actual game. That one's not gonna be gameplay. I'm sure the Kingdom Hearts will be because they already had a playable demo. Yep. Um, yep, yep. But the so that I'm wondering if maybe another Final Fantasy announcement. Maybe? Yeah, that's just something like. I, you know, like new one, maybe a new one. It's not likely at all, but I would love for them to be like, "Here's a new IP we're working on." Like it's not coming out for like two or three years, but like, here's this new IP. I would, I would love that to see that. Maybe interesting would, too. Yeah. yeah. Meh. All right, man. Well, all right. Well, it's been eight, eight hours right. and twenty minutes live on the air. Uh, it is time to get to bed again. We'll see you guys tomorrow, twelve p.m. noon EST.